coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Hi Boston! My lovely subscriber Tina from Boston, I think from Boston because she sent me a Boston mug, sent me this mug and I'm so, so, so thankful. Um, she is such a sweetheart, always supporting me and following me on all my social media and I got this lovely mug delivered to my P.O. Box and I was so happy. I, I got home and I was like, Mr. Man, look, look what I got, look what I've got. And he was like, really? Now your subscribers are fe feeding your addiction? <laughs> so thank you so much, Tina. So a lot of you guys know, or most of you know, that um, my mom was here visiting. She stayed for a week and every single time she comes, go through my channel and you'll see all of the videos that I have from all the shopping that we do. So we went to several places and Oh, I don't even know where to get started. So I'm going to probably cut this into two different videos. The first video is going to be this one, which is going to be Ulta and Cosmetic Company Store. It's called Cosmetic Company Store, but people call it CCO or Cosmetic Company Outlet. For those of you unfamiliar, Cosmetic Company Store is a store that's usually located at those like outlet malls. And they have a ton of um, Estee Lauder products, Clinique, Smashbox, MAC, and you can find really hidden treasures. A lot of the discontinued or limited edition collections are found at these locations. And not only that, they can find products that you're looking for at different locations. So that's always a plus. My location always gives me like a cute little paper bag like this, so it feels like I'm, you know, having like a luxury shopping trip. I don't know why, but I don't like to get plastic bags. I like when they give me a shopper. It makes me feel like I'm more fancy. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if you like that too. I don't know why I like it, and I save these bags. I'm like a shopper bag hoarder. I swear, and my closet is full of these bags, and I usually use them like when I take stuff to the Goodwill or whatever, but I really don't need these many bags. <laughs> so to show you what I got, I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer. Welcome to my face. I know you've missed that. I don't know why I keep forgetting to say it, but I, I don't do it on purpose. I love saying that for you guys. <laughs> so CCO was kind of a letdown when we went, but I never let that stop me from getting things. So I got two products from Michael Kors and two products from MAC. That's it, I know, crazy, right? The first product that I got was a Michael Kors set. Um, and this is a um, spring lip and nail duo. So it had spring on it. I said I'm all over it. It has an orange gloss and then like a cobalt blue polish. I haven't used these. I tested them out in the store um, and I really like the gloss. Um, this is one of those glosses that shows up the same color it looks like in the tube. So it doesn't sheer out. It is that color. And the gloss tip applica applicator is a brush, not a doe foot. So that's pretty cool. I don't know about the polish, but I mean, look at the bottle. Isn't that cute? I did get the same product in a different color, and this is like a Radiant Orchid gloss and then a lime green polish again. Normally, you guys know, I don't succumb to packaging. Like I'm not like, oh, the packaging, the packaging, like when the Rihanna rose gold stuff came out, but look at that. You hear Tater? He's singing. He's singing that Frozen song, let it go, let it go. Yeah, I'm not a good singer, but that's what he's singing. <laughs> so that's the second thing that I got. And then I just got two pressed pigments from MAC. And pressed pigments are basically like um, glitter that's pressed in like a shadow form. And these need a lot of help to show up true to color. So you have to wear like a Maybelline color tattoo or a cream shadow that's a similar color. Otherwise, it's just gonna look like glitter. And I got two different colors. The first one, obviously, I needed in my life because it's like a mint green, and I'm wearing it today. I wore it over a item that I'm gonna show you in just a second, and this is in the color Lime Ice. I don't know if these are limited edition, but I did find them at the CCO, so they might have been, um, but I'm not sure. So I know a ton of you are gonna correct me in the comments, <laughs> but I don't know, it doesn't, it has a hint of mint, but it really just looks like a silvery sparkle. And then um, the second one that I got is Summer Honey. Obviously, I needed this in my life because who doesn't need a sparkly neutral color? And this is pretty for like an inner, inner corner, center of the eyelid. I would even put a little bit just on the center of my lip, just pat a tiny bit to make my lips look a little bit more sparkly. And those are the four items that I got at the CCO. 
No um, visit from my mom would be complete without going to an Ulta, and we may have gone to more than one. And I always like to take her to Ulta because she lives in um, San Diego, California, really, really close um, to the U.S.-Mexico border. And so all of the stores in that area are always sold out of things because so many people cross the border to do their shopping and so everything it's almost like um the same amount of product for twice the amount of people um so it's always hard for her to find anything everything is always out of stock or opened and tested and it's just a mess so i always take her to several ultas um and so we went to ulta and I was a little disappointed with my Ulta shopping trip because a lot of the items that I got were flops. You guys know I like to haul and try them out before I tell you um, what I hauled so that I can give you a little bit of feedback. The first item that I got was the Real Techniques um, silicone liner brush. I put it back in the packaging just to kind of show you what it looks like. This is a $6 Real Techniques brush and I love to use gel liners, but what I have noticed is um, when I use like a black or a dark navy, it stains the bristles, and unless I have multiple liner brushes, um, the darkness of the previous gel liner, unless I wash it really well, shows up. And I really have been loving to use white eyeliner and you know purple eyeliner and lighter colors, and they get kind of messed up with a dirty brush. So I thought I would give this a whirl because it is silicone, so it won't absorb the product and it won't ruin the coloring. But this is so bad. I hate to, <laughs> I hate to be so, um, you know, to put so much emphasis on, on something, but this is so bad. This is terrible. It's patchy and it doesn't grab onto product and it, it breaks up the liner and you can't build it up. And when you put it on and drag the liner, it picks it up rather than deposit it. It's just, it's terrible. Needless to say, even though it was just like $5, I'm totally going to return this. It's terrible. Sorry guys, I wish I had better news. I don't like sharing negative reviews as much, but yeah, that was really bad. The next item that I got was a um, lip gloss from the Kardashian Beauty Collection. And this is a plumping lip gloss. I normally don't get plumping lip glosses. I don't like them because they're minty and they don't, well, let's be honest, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need plumping. So I got this one because I thought it would be a good color to like for the summer, if I'm not wearing too much makeup, to just give me a little bit of sparkle or to add to the center of my lip to make it look more juicy. Um, first of all, it's not, I don't know how it's lip plumping because it's honey infused or honey scented. Um, so I don't know how it's plumping. Maybe just because of the sparkle that it has, it gives the effect of plumping. I don't know. But this is a $10 lip gloss and it's in the color... Boosted Beige Nude. That's a weird name. Boosted Beige Nude. You guys want to see something hilarious? Look at this. Look at that. Do you guys see the size of that? You can tell I already used it. Look at that. Like this, <laughs> this is the first doe foot applicator that's the size of my mouth. <laughs> I don't have to dip like 25 times to get enough product. So it's a pretty color, but it's definitely not opaque. It's just like a shimmery champagne color. Um, uh, let me show you. I guess I'll, I'll swatch it for you here. Well, that's not going to work. It's mixed together with another color I was wearing. <laughs> classy, Danny. Very classy. So it smells like honey, like raw honey. So it's not offensive, but like I said, I don't know how it's plumping. I wouldn't pay $10 for it again, um, but I'm not returning it. I like it. Um, the next item that I got was a baby lips. I don't particularly like baby lips, but I always buy them and I use them, but I don't like them. I don't know. Okay. So when baby lips came out, I didn't like them like those neon bright colors or whatever. I thought they're not worth the hype. But then when the medicated ones came out, I really liked that one because it's clear. But then they keep bringing them out different versions and I keep falling in the trap. This is the pinked edition, I believe. The ones that are like pink infused. So they have like a pinky coral, a pinky pink, a pinky berry. I got the berry color. I haven't tried it. It's not even opened yet. So I'm excited to try this. Um, I figured it would be a good 
chapstick type to have in my purse when I'm not wearing any makeup just to give a little bit of rosiness to my lips. So I'll let you know how that goes. And then, you guys know I have been on a colorful eyeliner kick, so I had to get the NYX Liquid Liner in Extreme Blue. And this is definitely extreme, and I'm so excited to use it. I haven't used it yet, but I am really excited. Look at that. I'm hoping this is going to be like the Cella um, felt tip liner in our Ipsy bag that was a total flop. You guys know it like dried out, and it took forever to apply, and it was just... It was miserable trying to put it on. This one is like super juicy, so I'm hoping I could just get my Smurf Blue on and go out the door. You know, I don't have to fight with it. And the last item that I got at Ulta was a Pop Beauty set. And Pop Beauty is no longer being sold at Ulta, so everything is 50% off. So if you can get your hands on some of the nail lacquers, I would totally recommend it. Their polish is really good. It does chip a little bit like Butter London polishes, but the colors are really unique and really beautiful. So I got this set for $5. It comes with a chapstick that to me smells old, so I'm not even going to use that. Um, and then this really pretty um, hot orange nail polish. On your nails it looks a little bit more coral and it does have like a little bit of a gold sheen to it. So this is like the perfect summer orange for the summer. <laughs> okay, let's be honest. You and I both know that I'm not the best at editing videos and this is probably not going to be a smooth transition, so I might as well just put it out there. I forgot to talk about a product, so here I am inserting this random clip about a product that I forgot to mention. Now, normally I would just leave it out, but it has to do with my eye look that I told you I was going to show you, so here I am. <laughs> so don't judge me. Actually, judge me. The last product that I forgot to share with you guys, I got it at Ulta, and this is a Maybelline color tattoo. Um, I'm wearing it all on my eyelid. For, I wore it on purpose so that the pigment could stick to something and that it would show up true to color. Otherwise, the pigment would just look like a silvery glitter. Um, and this is the color tattoo in Edgy Emerald, and it looks like this. I had a little bit of trouble with this because you layer it on, and if you go back over it, it picks up the product. So it doesn't, and I was wearing a primer, so it's not my eye cream or anything. So you kind of have to lay on a thin layer, let it dry, and then layer it on again. So the first coat of it is not going to be as rich as you see right here. This is two coats. So you have to apply a thin layer, let it dry, and then add it again so that you can get that really pretty emerald color. Unless you wanted just like a wash of it, then you could just apply one layer. But if you go back and forth without letting it dry, it picks up the product and then it looks splotchy. So that is it for part one of this shopping madness with my mama. Let me know if you like any of these products, if you agree with me, disagree with me, if you have any ideas of how to improve the quality of that silicone gel liner brush before I take it back. I'm really excited to share this haul with you guys. I love sharing my hauls. Um, I'm a little nervous because I'm is next week and that's probably going to be another part one part two part seven haul of my trip with my friends in new york city but i don't want to think about that yet my my bank account is still crying <laughs> stay tuned for part two of this haul it's going to be my vib rouge shopping experience with my mom um and that's pretty damaging so I'm excited to share that with you guys. <laughs> if you guys found this video useful or entertaining or learned something, let me know by giving me a thumbs up or subscribing if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.